Hey everyone, it's Mr. Flying Pig HD here with a little preview video for you for the Manchester United versus City game taking place tomorrow, 4 p.m. UK time in the Barclays Premier League. And come on then, bring it on City. We're going to absolutely batter them, that's what I think. We are flying high at the moment. They are doing poorly. They're dwindling towards the end of the season. They really should be doing better with the club with uh, their resources and everything, the players they have there. Pellegrini's having an absolute mare. I mean, his job must be hanging by a thread. Must be hanging by a thread. I think the final nail in the coffin could be if United go out there and batter City tomorrow. And then... Uh, He'll probably take that freaking coffin home and sleep in it. Because he looks like freaking Dracula, doesn't he? Once we beat him, come the end of the season, pack your bags back off to Transylvania, mate. Um, so it's a huge game in context of the season for both sides. If Manchester United win, we're basically comfortably top four. Could potentially finish even higher than that. Maybe second, maybe third, you know. Would be a good end to the season for us, no doubt. So it's a huge game. If we win that game, we're looking pretty rosy Lee. Uh, rosy Lee, cup of tea? Well, that's not what I meant. We're looking pretty freaking rosy for the uh, end of the season, getting top four there. City on the other hand, it could push them towards dropping out of the top four. The likes of Liverpool, Tottenham, Southampton, all uh, snapping at the heels there. And City have been dropping points, playing points of late if United go out there decimate them tomorrow they're really going to struggle towards the end of the season I think I mean Aguero's not scored for a few games they're big players Torre company haven't really turned up this season they've had mares company might not even feature in the game on Sunday which is probably a benefit for them because he's pretty freaking gashed of, of late I mean he's a good player but this season's not he's not really been that good not reached the peaks as he had done the last couple of seasons before that and mares um, United on the other hand we're playing really good football Louis van Gaal seems to know the system he wants to play now with the formation and the players there we played it the last few games looks really good uh, Juan Mata starting games out there performing Michael Carrick in a deep midfield position controlling games wonderful bit of form from him in front of him Fellaini Great target man, you know, been performing really well. Maybe not the game against Villa, but all the games before that, wonderful. Uh, and Herrera's been wonderful late. Right? Those two goals the other day, fantastic run of performances from him as well. Ashley Young out there on the left looks like a freaking world-class winger all of a sudden. Where's that freaking come from, eh? But he looks fantastic, keeping Di Maria out the side. I mean, I think Di Maria should start on the bench, even though he's been contributing of late. Come on, you know, that lovely assist in the last game he's been, been performing uh, when he has come on. But, I mean, that's where I think you should keep him because Ashley Young's just been wonderful of late, decimating people. <laughs> that's my word of the day is decimate because that's what we're going to do to freaking City tomorrow and then we've got Wayne Rooney up top who's uh, you know driving the team and scoring goals so we're in a good bit of form we've got players in a good bit of form that's the I'd stick with the same team if I was Louis van Gaal see what happens Di Marie could always impact from the bench Falcao could always impact impact from the bench there's a lot of talk about Falcao maybe replacing Fellaini for this game which I can see some of the sense in that but at the same time I think Fellaini had a poor game last game he has been really good of late he's a you know awkward player to defend against I'd stick him in there and uh, really cause them problems at home Manchester United have been fantastic this season 40 points we've picked up uh, in the league at home which is more than any other team so it should be a really tough place for City to come to tomorrow in terms of the result Oh, I mean, it's a tough one. You can say form really does go out the window in these games. And it does to some extent in these big derby games. Um, it, it's really about who wants it the most. I think both clubs already want it. City always seem to to turn up and do well against us. Certainly in post-Fergie era, they've got the better of us. I think they've won four games on the Triton the Premier League against us, uh, which is a shocking record. And if they beat us tomorrow, that will be the, uh, the first team in the Premier League era to beat us five cons consecutive games. So huge game for Manchester United. We've got to go out there and, uh, and, and get the better of them and uh, control the game. We're, we've been playing good possession football uh, recently with purpose. And I think we will actually go out there, play really well and decimate City. 2-1. Rooney's going to score. Juan Mata's going to score. A huge game. It's a huge game against City. A lot on the line. Bragging rights in terms of the freaking season. Manchester United have to go out there. We have to perform. Um, we've got to get up and get the freaking result. I mean, a draw wouldn't be the end of the world, would, would it? But right now, this moment of time, I think we can get the freaking better of City. I want to see us go out there and tear them apart. I mean, they've, uh, they've definitely definitely got the better of us of late and it pisses me right off pisses me right off and uh, it would be a little bit sketchy if uh, Manchester City beat us tomorrow uh, going into the, the run-in although top four does look pretty safe at the moment but we've got some big games before the end of the season still Chelsea Arsenal so you know I, I would feel a lot more freaking comfortable going in the run and if Manchester United go out there tomorrow pick up the three points and then it's happy days really isn't it we're pretty much guaranteed top four then so it is a massive game it's always a massive game against City it's not for the title this year but it is for uh, serious bragging rights and serious uh, importance in terms of finishing top four for both sides oh what do you think is going to happen in the game please do comment below and let me know also let me know what starting 11 you would field against uh, City tomorrow I'll just go for the one that we've been playing the last few games 
and have Di Maria and Falco on the bench. Um, let me know what you would do, of course, and uh, what you think the result's going to be. Also, check the link in the description to Campo Retro. Uh, awesome football retro shirts. Just have a look at them. Use the promo code MUFC20 for 20% off your freaking order. It's a good deal. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Chuck a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. This is Mr. Flying Big HD here. Come on, United! Back someday to watch you, to guide you. The darkest of your days If a great weight shall fall And fall upon us all Check out these awesome shirts from Campo Retro, including the 99 Champions League final shirt for £25 and two for £20 on their Graphic Legends range. Click the link in the description.